Yellowstone volcano gases being released. One of them is helium, billions of years old, being released at the supervolcano. We know that Yellowstone on a regular normal day releases 45,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That's how they found that it had the huge magma reservoir under the magma chamber. But there's also helium, billions of years old, being released as well. This is what researchers from USGS discovered. They found a large amount of ancient helium is constantly being released at the Yellowstone volcano site at uh, Wyoming. And the result, they suggest in their paper, is uh, the magma hotspot releasing previously trapped gases. In the survey, gases that emanate from various parts of the supervolcano area, they discovered far higher amounts of helium-4 isotope than was expected. It's about 60 tons every year that's being released. Helium isotope emanates generally uh, come in two variants, helium-3 and helium-4. Helium-3 has been found by prior research to come from deep within the Earth, whereas helium-4 is more often in the crust of the Earth. And the result of decaying radioactive uranium and thorium elements Helium-3 has been measured at the park before. It gets pushed up to the surface due to the ancient volcanic activity. And finding helium-4 emanating from the cracks and fissures in above normal amounts indicates that the helium was coming from the crust. But why was there so much coming out? And the, to answer the question, researchers looked at the long geological history of the region. About 2 million years ago, when we had one of the super eruptions, before that, they said the area was relatively quiet. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The abstract from... Uh, Nature Magazine, helium is used as a critical tracer throughout the Earth sciences. And this is having to do with accumulated radiogenic helium at Yellowstone. The uh, helium uses a critical tracer where its relatively simple isotopic systemics is used to trace degassing from the mantle to date groundwater and to time the rise of continents. The hydrothermal system at Yellowstone National Park is famous for its high helium-3, helium-4 isotope ratio, commonly cited as evidence for a deep mantle source from the Yellowstone hotspot. Now we know that the uh, it's coming. The hotspot goes down at least 410 miles for sure, but they think that it's even more than that. It could be 630 miles down. Now it's in the transition zone. However, much of the helium here emanated from this region is actually radiogenic helium-4 produced within the crust by the alpha decay of uranium and thorium. And here we show, they said, by combining gas emission rates with chemistry and isotopic analysis, that crustal helium-4 emission rates from Yellowstone exceed by orders of magnitude any conceivable rate of generation within the crust it seems that helium has accumulated for at least many hundreds of millions of years in Archaean, that's more than two and a half billion years old, cratonic rocks beneath Yellowstone, only to be liberated over the past two million years by intense crustal metamorphism induced by the Yellowstone hotspot. And they said our results demonstrate the extremes in variability of crustal helium efflux on geologic timescales and imply crustal scale open system behavior of helium in tectonically and magmatically active regions. This was from Nature Magazine, it's on fizz.org. Now, because the helium is so old, the researchers believe it might hold secrets about the maturation of our planet, also providing other examples of gases or liquids being held in the Earth's crust for billions of years. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.